Hello, co-creators. So this is daily, um, well, it's a nine day message from your guides. We're gonna just jump right in. Let's get it, let's go. God's goddesses and angels of light, higher self source, deceased loved ones, ancestors, guides. Make sure you check your moon and rising as well. Let's start with Virgo. Calling Virgo's higher self and guides. Show us what Virgo needs to see. So, first of all, like a couple days ago, maybe even last week, there was maybe some obsessing going on. It could be on material items. It could be on a relationship. It could be a toxic relationship. It could be uh, an addiction that you were struggling with a couple days ago or a week ago. Um, this past energy. Um, maybe just being really controlled by somebody or maybe you are trying to control somebody. You know, like I said, past tense, like a week ago or a couple days ago. And then you moved into the Two of Swords energy presently, which is, you know, having some confusion um two of swords is like you have a choice you have a couple choices they're between two things and your heart is closed off and it doesn't it doesn't um surprise me with the devil card here um with that energy being here uh you're you know you've moved from that toxic energy into you know, okay, now you have a choice. And naturally, that's a natural human response, right? You're going to move into that type of thinking, but you're confused and you're in denial and you kind of have your head in the sand like an ostrich right now. Like, like currently your energy is like, I'm going to put my head like an ostrich into the sand and then have my butt up in the air and then hope that everything goes away. Sorry, Virgo. Um, you know, I'm just going to be real with you. That's not what happens, okay? Um, you have to face it because next you have the six of coins and it's showing that, you know, you're gonna get some kind of, um, you know, a handout of assistance, a generosity of someone's gonna be sharing uh, money with you. You're gonna be getting some kind of gift exchange of some finances coming in. And that could be related to you know, maybe you were obsessing on work. Maybe it doesn't have to be a subsidence of your addiction. It could be you were just being a workaholic and you moved into having to make a choice because you're overworking and getting exhausted. But then somebody's coming in and they're helping you with some money. Um, and I'm seeing um, definitely a lot of money coming in, Virgo, because you've got the king of coins here. And that is somebody that has earned it, okay? That is an earned income that you have provided for yourself. Um, that is, that's great. You've got success coming in, you've got, or it's an energy of somebody, a businessman, somebody that's like a provider, um, a master male in your life or a reliable boss or a reliable person or a father figure, or maybe that is you Virgo that is watching this right now. That is what I'm seeing after you finally make the choice to balance out maybe your workaholism, um, money is gonna come in and or you are going to get some kind of assistance. 
also I see here, um, moving into next week, Virgo, I see the Six of Swords and I see better times moving on. It is what is below, it's confirming the devil energy. It is showing that you are moving on to calmer waters, um, mental stability, um, transitioning into more healing energy from um, that, that energy. So that is a good sign moving into next week. Um, I'm seeing that maybe you need to realize that there is help out there for you, outside help. The five of coins shows, shows me that maybe you are feeling some kind of financial hardship and maybe that is why you were overworking yourself and getting exhausted, um, Virgo. So, you know, um, uh, isolating yourself, uh, you know, uh, struggling, feeling like life is a struggle. Life is, <clears throat> excuse me, life is all about perception. It's 10% about what's happening to you and 90% of how you react to it. Okay, Virgo. Next we have, okay, so we've got a couple fives in the middle of next week. That is a lot of changes going on and it's related to finances and love because we've got the five of cups here. There's going to be an energy of feeling um, grief or despair or living in sadness of some kind. Um, you're going to be isolating and feeling lonely um, moving into next week. Maybe it's because you are working so hard or maybe you are not going to take this advice and maybe you're going to um, refuse that help that is being uh offered to you this week currently of some sort you're going to be feeling a loss though of some sort uh virgo i'm sorry for that but following that energy not to end on a bad note we've got you are going to gain a new perspective from this loss of a relationship of some sort of some sort of sadness it could be relationship because it is a love card so, um, you know, you're living in the past in your thoughts. It could just be in your mind as well. It doesn't have to be an actual real thing. It could just be in your mind. You're just experiencing the trauma maybe from the loss of an old relationship. And it's time to move on and get a new perspective and to let that go. Okay, Virgo, that is what I have for you. Please come back, like, share, and subscribe. Check out my new videos. Make sure you get notified when I post new ones. We are going to check the timestamp. We got 747 for Virgo. Okay, let me put these away. We are going to move on. <laughs> to Libra. Right. God's goddess is an angel of the light. I yourself source to see self and ancestors. Guides calling. Libra's higher self and guides. Whoa. Show me what Libra needs to See, calling Libra to hire something guys. Show us what Libra needs to see. Okay, let's go. Oh yes, I love that for you, Libra. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, all right. Now, Libra, I see a lot of happiness. A couple days ago, last week, I see the happiest card in the deck. I see the sun card here for you, Libra, and I'm seeing um, success. I'm seeing optimism. I'm seeing inner child connection. I'm seeing uh, next to that energy moving more into the present moment I'm seeing a businessman a provider a father figure maybe um, maybe it you are the father figure or maybe you are the master in your life maybe um, you are the boss or maybe there is a boss 
uh, energy around you. That's somebody that's reliable, a provider, a very somebody very successful. This could be an earth sign of uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in your life that is coming in um, currently in this moment. And you are receiving some clarity over some somebody that is of that energy or maybe it is you of that energy and maybe you are getting more clear um because we've got the another king we've got two kings here so it could also be two male energies the king of swords represents though um air signs so like yourself libra um aquarius or gemini so you know, communication, um, clear communication, very clear, uh, a good judge of character, a logic, logical person, very um, powerful person, analytical, mature person, um, somebody with authority in your life, okay? Somebody that has high principles as well. So that is two king energies in your reading, Libra. We are also seeing a knight. Maybe there are three males here in your life, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, maybe four, I'm seeing the Knight of Swords is confirming the Knight of Cups card. There is a few energies of male energies here. Um, Libra, I don't know your life if this is a male or a female watching, but let's just say there is either you are offering somebody some love or somebody is offering you a message of love right now. They are coming in to offer this to you, um, but they are not, this knight is not confident about your response, what your response is going to be to them. So like if you're, they're not sure if you are going to, um, you know, uh, uh, equally give them the same feeling back, okay? They're not sure if, you are going to be receiving their message of love, but it is coming in. A message of love and romance is coming towards you. Somebody that is a lover, somebody that is very sensitive, somebody that is very imaginative, they were coming in to seduce you. And that is at the end of this week, uh, Libra. And this is a timeless reading, so, you know, just as you're watching it. Ace of Coins is below this sun card this is moving into next week we've got new financial beginnings a new job opportunities or a new job abundance wealth we've got uh you know it's rewards coming to you of abundance a financial windfall is coming towards you maybe you've got some investments that are coming in um in the beginning of next week following that ace of coins we've got the ace of swords Okay, this is very, very amazing energy, Libra. You are gonna have the best nine days right now. Um, more clear communication is coming in and it's showing in confirmation to this king of coins, which is you know the earth sign that may be in your life. And you're going to get a breakthrough with this person and there's gonna be some truth shown and some new ideas, maybe some focus, some justice, um, some, really clear communication is coming in for you uh, related to that king of coins or earth sign in your life, Libra. Also, we've got you um, moving in later in the week, next week, six of swords energy, better times are coming, moving on. Maybe you're moving physically. Maybe you are getting more mentally stable from that move, or maybe you are um, just getting mentally stable in your life right now. Um, you're moving to, uh, you're progressing, you're, you're growing, you're moving to calmer transition in your life, more healing, okay? Calmer waters, per se, okay? And then we have that Knight of Swords that was confirming the Knight of Cups. And it is a fast-moving night. This is a fast-moving night that's moving in really, really fast energy. And it is next to that Six of Swords. So I'm assuming that, that those better times are moving in really quick, really quickly for you. And um, there is no going against the flow. It is just direct, direct, hard, like fast energy. Just um, either you or someone else is very brave and fearless and 
it is related to that um, message of love that is coming towards you and you will get more um, more information on who that is in your life somebody that is very daring a daring person and you know uh, is fearless that is your reading Libra I hope you enjoyed it please come back like share and subscribe so you make sure you get notified when I post new readings what time is 15 18 all right let it let's move on to Scorpio Scorpio all right I'm gonna make sure I mix these all up good Goddesses, angels of the light, higher self source, deceased loved ones, ancestors, guides, calling Scorpio's higher self and guides. Show us what Scorpio needs to see for the next nine days, please. Show us what Scorpio needs to see for the next nine days. Clear message. All right, there it is. All right, we got the Page of Cups, we got the Two of Wands, we got the Nine of Wands, we got the Six of Cups, we got the Temperance. All right, looks good, Scorpio. Okay, let's see here. So what I'm seeing is um, like a week ago, Scorpio, or current energy right now, I'm seeing for you a Page of Cups. There is a message, a text message of love. Um, that maybe came in a week ago or a couple days ago. Um, and the, the person, either you or the person is got their, um, has their heart on their sleeve and, um, they're just, you know, a dreamer energy. Um, it could be a Pisces or a Cancer or another Scorpio sensitivity, very lover, a dreamer, um, but they have a message of love coming towards you. It's a youthful energy. Um, it's not coming towards you. It has already, past tense, probably came towards you. It, whatever that message was, it may put you in the energy. This was like some message from last week that has put you this week, currently, right now, in your present moment, into the Two of Wands energy, into now you have a, a, a choice. You have choices that you have to make because of whatever this message is that came in, a message of love, has made you um, need to make more decisions. You've become indecisive. It's time to take the first step is what this is saying. You have a fork in the road and it's time to really make some plans and to really pause and to um, see that you have this choice and to really think about it before acting, um, okay, before proceeding, make sure that you realize that you think clearly of each choice that you can make. Where, you know, try to have some foresight, Scorpio. You're good at this. You, you have farsightedness. It, it's a natural talent of yours. I, I have faith that you'll be able to do that because I see the Nine of Wands here. And this is um, courage, determination, inner strength, perseverance. Like you've got this last stand. It shows somebody that like just put up all these wands like in a row to kind of like protect themselves. But at the same time, they're, um, you know, it's just like boundaries really, but they're showing their inner strength and how determined they are. So I, I see that for you and I see um, moving into the end of this week, I see the Six of Cups. You're going to be nostalgic. You're going to be, um, maybe you're putting um, your, all that courage and determination into um, being nostalgic, you know, uh, memories from the past. You're reminiscing on childhood and past influences, maybe past relationships because it is a Cups card. Um, Okay, so moving on, we've got confirmation cards for the Page of Cups. Next, moving into next week, because of that message of love, I'm seeing um, the confirmation is balance. The energy is that you, you felt very peaceful with that message that came in, but it did put you in um, an indecisive, you know, it gave you choices. And I'm seeing Scorpio that 
you are balancing that energy next week and you are healing from whatever that message was and you are taking your time in moderation to you know um, harmonize and stay calm and to have peace in your life associated with that message of love that came in last week or you know maybe just it, it is it's a message of love of some sort but um okay moving on into the middle of next week we've got the four of wands we've got a celebration for you scorpio it's showing some stability some domestic bliss some reunions this is a happy party card um, maybe for some of you who are getting married or maybe thinking about marriage, um, family reunions or a reunion of love with somebody. Um, maybe it's associated with that message that came in a week ago or, you know, you know, a couple days ago. Um, I'm seeing total domestic bliss, though, and um, maybe even in your community, I'm seeing. OK, and that's in the middle of next week, Scorpio. I'm also seeing, okay, maybe you are moving um, into more towards the end of next week, a little bit of anxiety, and maybe it is related to, you know, um, having to make that decision in love. You're and maybe um, feeling a little depressed or feeling guilty or despair of some sort, but it's in your head. It's not a reality. Okay, so you're going to feel some anxiety, maybe a little fear. Um, moving into the end of next week, you know, dealing with all these emotions and trying to balance out your emotions, Scorpio, you may be experiencing a little anxiety moving into the end of next week, but it is going to end with the Queen of Wands. And this is a very fiery fiery, sexy queen energy. So somebody that is very sexy, very attractive to you um, and a visionary of some sorts, an optimistic, energetic person, a fire sign. Um, it could be uh, a Leo, an Aries or a Sagittarius, an entrepreneur, a dynamic person, um, very optimistic. Did I say that? An extrovert of some sort, very dramatic and creative person. That is what is ending your reading right now for next week. That person is going to be coming into your life or you will be experiencing a very creative side of your personality at that time, Scorpio. So definitely like, share, and subscribe and make sure so you can get um, contacted when I post new videos. And that was your reading, 2242. All right, Scorpio, bye for now. Now we're moving into Sagittarius. Let's see here, Sag. Sag. Fix my hair a little bit. God's goddesses and angels of the light, higher self, source, deceased loved ones, ancestors, guides. Calling Sagittarius as higher self and guides. Show us what, for the next nine days, Sag, show us what Sagittarius needs to see. Show us what Sagittarius needs to see. Let's get it, let's go. Nice, starting out with the 10 of cups. What, Sag? What, a double, we got a 10 of cups. Oh my goodness, Sag. You are, wow, you're a rock star. All right, Sagittarius. All right, looks good. Okay, Sag, you are gonna have a wild night, nine days. That's all I have to say. From This is a timeless reading whenever you're catching this, Sagittarius. Okay, so you're starting last week, we got the 10 of cups. That's ultimate like bliss in the home, in the finances, in everything, domestic bliss, emotional stability, maturity, success, security, happiness. Yes, yes, please. That was last week or a couple days ago you were experiencing. And then also following with that, we've got the 10 of coins and you had, again, it's the home, family, stability, inheritances, legacies, reputation, affluence, We've got this just domestic bliss again. We've got a double whammy here. This is moving into the current energy. 
But then we've got here a little bit of aggression, a little intimidation here. Maybe somebody is bullying you or maybe um, you're struggling with all this domestic bliss. You know, you Sag, you like the freedom, you know? And this is like saying that you've been kind of around family a lot in home maybe, a home a lot more than you would like to be, Sag. So um, you're struggling with that right now. That's what I'm seeing here. You're feeling kind of like defeated, like you were having to answer too much, maybe make too many sacrifices right now in your present energy. But I see you moving in later this week into the King of Coins. That is a very businessman, uh, father figure energy, a successful father figure energy, very, very financially stable, um, a boss maybe a reliable person of some sort, a provider, a master um, male, a mature male in your life, or maybe that is you, um, or maybe there is somebody in your life that is that energy, but you will be financially provided for by that person. If you are not already financially provided for by the end of this week, Sagittarius. Oh, also it is a uh, earth sign, so it is Virgo. Taurus um, or uh, Capricorn. And so moving into next week, I've got the Knight of Swords for you. It's a fast moving night, very fast moving night. It's very impatient, it's very fearless. Sounds like your energy, Sag. So um, I see it moving towards a Two of Cups. So next week we've, we've got some partnerships going on. It, it's a true soulmate. It could be a friend, it doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a business partner. Um, but you're moving in, you're not, you're very direct, you're going fast, you're being daring, okay? Um, moving into the middle of next week, um, maybe signing some contracts or maybe just uh, experiencing a, an attraction or companionship uh, feelings of, you know, a, a real loving connection into the middle of next week, um, Sagittarius. And then I have the mentor here, which is, you know, like the Hierophant energy. It's the male spiritual guide. I'm seeing blind faith is needed in the middle of next week. I'm seeing maybe um, you need to seek out a mentor um, or a guide of some sort, um, Sagittarius. Maybe that could help you out. Or maybe you are going to become one, a life coach or a mentor of some sort for somebody. I am seeing here by the end of next week, Sagittarius, the Empress, either you yourself is becoming Empress energy, very creative, or somebody you want in your life or is coming into your life. The energy is somebody very fertile or maybe you're pregnant or maybe someone you know is pregnant or maybe there is somebody birthing or you are birthing a new idea. Um, your creativity is very high in the end of next week. You are very abundant and you are just, like I said, pregnant with new possibilities, okay? And you're very nurturing or somebody else, uh, fe uh, fe feminine energy is coming into your life. That is that energy. That is your reading, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm moving on now to Capricorn. All right, Cap. Can I call you Cap? Okay, wait. 38, 30, wait, 28, 41. I forgot to get it for Sagittarius. All right, Cap. Here we go. God's goddesses and angels of the light, higher self, source to see loved ones, answer these guides, calling Capricorn's higher self and guides. Show us for Capricorn what Capricorn needs to see. Let's get it, let's go. All right, Cap, starting with the Three of Cups, celebration, party, support, friends, pleasure, 
social contact, emotional happiness and joy. That was starting with your like past energy, like within the last couple days or last week. All right, this looks great, Capricorn. You're coming out in your own reading. Well, not the devil energy, but the earth sign. Okay, great. All right, Capricorn. So what I'm seeing here is there was that celebration within the last couple days. It moved into the Seven of Wands, which is a little bit of defensiveness and um, determination, tenacity, conviction, defensive. Yeah, like defiance. Um, very courageous, though. Perseverance. Like you are just uh, setting up boundaries um, to be victorious in something. Okay, but you are overworking yourself and you are weighing yourself down with some stress and some responsibilities, maybe struggling a little bit, uh, being a workaholic maybe, or maybe um, taking too many obligations, feeling burdened and, you know, it shows here somebody with um, rocks tied to their back. You can literally untie those rocks from your back. This is present energy right now for you, Capricorn. I'm sorry you're feeling this. And then we also have, by the end of this week, you're gonna have a little bit of, you know, feeling like, you know, somebody, um, like a loss. You're feeling like a kind of like a bottom, but it's in your mind, Capricorn. You really don't need to be feeling this, uh, this like you're a failure or somebody backstabbed you. Um, they didn't. It's just in your mind and you need to try to, you know, just realize that you're overworking right now um, or you're overthinking things right now um, in your current energy as well as the end of this week. Just be aware that this energy is going on and try to change your energy and your perception, Capricorn, because we are the co-creators of our reality. You know, it's life is 10% of what happens to us and 90% of how we respond to it, Capricorn. Okay. So then moving on to the beginning of next week, we've got the seven of coins. This is something to look forward to. We've got harvest, patience, rewards are coming in. You know, things that you've harvested and put your energy into is coming to fruition. You are getting the results. You are getting profit, progress, you know, things moving forward for you financially. That is a good sign. And there is some secrets, but they are, you know, the or illusions or fears, phobias. Yes, it is confirming this in the middle of next week, but they are going to be coming to light because we've got in the middle of next week, Capricorn, we've got the four of wands, celebration, marriage, maybe. Um, <clears throat> a commitment to somebody, uh, domestic bliss, stability, parties, more parties and reunions. I don't know how you could be partying so much Capricorn, but yet you're, you're, you know, stressing, you know what I mean? Like there's so much to celebrate here. So just realize, you know, you got to just balance the good with the bad and just, it's all about perception because we also have here the king of coins and it's a, a mature male, a businessman, Capricorn, a provider, a father figure, a reliable person or boss, a successful outcome to the end of your ninth day for next week. Um, that is your reading, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come back and like, share, and subscribe so you can get notified when I post new videos. And the timestamp is 3336. For Aquarius. Hello, Aquarius. All right. Let me put these back. All right, Aquarius, let's get it, let's go. This is a nine day reading. Gods, goddesses, and angels of the light. Higher self source, deceased loved ones, ancestors, guides. Show us calling Aquarius' higher self and guides. Show us for Aquarius what Aquarius needs to see for the next nine days, please. Show us what Aquarius needs to see. Got it, let's get it. All right, Aquarius. Okay, 
Okay, Aquarius, so what I'm seeing here is within like a couple days ago, past energy or last week, we've got the King of Wands, uh, a fire sign, um, a Leo, an, uh, um, a, a Sagittarius or an Aries. Somebody, uh, it could be, well, Aquarius, you're an air sign, but somebody in your life that is of this energy, a leader, somebody of vision, inspiring, energetic, moral, fair, mentor, bold, dynamic. This person is very wild and just, um, and this king is, uh, you know, it, it, they don't, it, very energetic and fair, but, um, very sexy it's a very sexy king but what am i getting we've got the set it's next to the seven of swords this is your current energy there's some deception going on and it could be related to this person aquarius i'm sorry for that there's been some lies maybe some boundaries need to be made there's been some plotting against you some cheating some theft some sneakiness um you know, uh, an enemy within, somebody, treachery. You know, the Seven of Swords is somebody, you know, a thief card. Um, but it could be just that you need to set some boundaries with this person. Um, and it is next to that King of Wands energy. So a Leo maybe in your life or somebody that just fits that energy of a very fiery energy. Um, and it's also next to the Five of Swords. So we've got some conflict, struggle, fight, aggression, defeat. Somebody's bullying you or you are bullying somebody, Aquarius. You've been sacrificing. There's been intimidation and some abuse going on, you know, physically or mentally. I am so sorry for this energy that you are feeling currently in this present moment. But moving on into later this week, we've got Six of Wands. There's going to be some victory. There's going to be, you're going to have some pride. There's going to be some recognition and success and glory and admiration and triumph coming in for you at the end of this week related to this energy of whatever is going on for you, Aquarius. Um, below is the confirmations for these cards. And also we're moving into next week, Aquarius. We've got the Page of Wands exuberant outgoing it is confirming that king of wands energy um so it could be a male or female because it's also showing um the page of wands is a youthful energy creative inventive original free-spirited person it sounds like yourself aquarius so that is what an artistic maybe you're going to get back into art again maybe you are going to you know start showing your creative side you're going to be very inventive and outgoing starting at the beginning of next week okay so moving away from that other energy but then we move into the three of swords so maybe there was going there's going to be uh, a recognition of some loss related to this week this current energy because it is below the seven of swords that thief energy we've got the three of swords so it is related to a heartbreak it is related to an emotional pain a betrayal a loss of separation of some sort a trauma some tears are going to be shed related to that energy that you are currently experiencing right now aquarius but moving out of that we've got the nine of wands I really just want you to realize, Aquarius, that it life is 10% about what is actually happening and 90% to how you respond to it. So really just look at it from that perspective that you can, you can really turn that frown upside down. You can really take control of your life and the energy that you have around you and the people, places, things because you have the inner strength, it is showing the nine of wands here. You are determined, you will take that last stand and you will preserve, you will uh, have perseverance, you will push forward, you have that inner strength and courage to do so. Moving into the end of next week, you have the emperor. I don't know your life, you could be either an emperor um, entering your life or you could be an emperor energy disciplined structure building an empire um, following the rules being a leader of some sort having that stable energy being an authority in your life Aquarius 
I love this for you. That is your energy for the next nine days. I hope you enjoyed your message, Aquarius. I'm going to take the timestamp. Please like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss a video that I update. And bye for now. 39.50. Moving on. Bye, Aquarius. Pisces. Moving into Pisces energy. Now, Spirit, what do we have for Pisces? Gods, goddesses, and angels of the light, higher self, source, higher self, loved ancestors, guides. Calling Pisces, higher self, and guides. Please give us a clear message for Pisces, please. Show us what Pisces needs to see. Show us what Pisces needs to see. Let's get it. Let's go, Pisces. All right, so there's some decisions. Okay, Pisces, so what I'm seeing here is there was some confusions last week or a couple days ago. There was some choices that needed to be made. You had a closed heart. Maybe you were in denial. You had your head in the sand. You were indecisive about something. Moving on to you, you found in your present moment some strength, some determination. You've got the strength card here. You've got, you got brave and... Um, you opened your heart, you did. You decided out of those, those the confusion that you were experiencing, you have decided, you, a soulmate has entered your life presently, a partnership of some kind, a companion. It could be a business partner, it could be a true love, it could be um, somebody that you are just, you are feeling so strong and compassionate towards that is the current energy right now that you are in. And um, there is something coming in very fast for you. It's the Eight of Wands. It's rapid speed. It's a conclusion of some sort, maybe related to those two choices that you had, um, that you were being indecisive about. There's some traveling, something is happening, some rapid movement, traveling, progress, moving forward, activity, results are happening by the end of this week. Yes, that is for you, Pisces. And then moving into next week, the beginning, we've got the Six of Wands. We've got pride, we've got victory, we've got success, recognition, triumph, we've got admiration glory coming in at the beginning of next week but then we in the middle of next week we got a little bit of competition going on some little bit of conflict but nothing to worry about there's some mystery maybe some illusions maybe you are worried about and having some fears about something um related to love and it is just an illusion there is some secrets that um, need to come to light um, you are obsessing on and you know there's no reason to obsess because Pisces you and I both know the truth always comes out it does not matter if somebody tries to maybe it's you having the secret but just realize that the truth always comes out because the next card out, you have the two of wands here. You're going to have choices again. There's going to be a fork in the road. There's going to be decisions and indecision going on again. That was at the beginning of your reading for like last week. And moving into the end of these nine days, you are going to be having this time to really take the time to plan and take that first step towards making that decision. So you're going to get some time to pause and really plan ahead and to really have some foresight you know you are very psychic pisces you just need to see 
10 steps ahead before you take those steps, before you make a decision, really weigh out the two options that you are facing. We are seeing twos here. There's two things going on right now. It is related to love and it could be related to um, some kind of conflict related to love or that is what I'm seeing. Maybe traveling. It could be related to travel plans happening. Um, and maybe this also, um, I'm trying to tell it from different perspectives. It could also be related to some secret um, that needs to come out. Or maybe you are paranoid that there is secrecy going on and it's really just an illusion. It, it's not real. Um, so I, I would just use your intuition because you are very psychic and you do know these things. You know how to weigh out your options before taking steps forward in your life. You do know how to feel and trust your gut and that's what you need to do. That is what I'm seeing for you, Pisces. That is your reading and um, that wraps up everything. And for your next nine days. Please like, share, and subscribe. So that way you get notified when I update new videos here shortly. And bye for now, Pisces.